Today we're gonna dive into a fascinating journey of making history shorts with AI, starting with the significant time of Great Depression. And guess what? You'll be among the first to hear about it. This isn't just any info, it's about creating awesome history shorts videos. It's like the best course ever. And trust me, it's the best thing out there right now, even better than some paid courses. Now you might be wondering, why bother learning this skill? Well, making these videos help many AI history channels earn a lot of money. And today, I'm giving you the opportunity to be the first in something brand new. It's super easy to go viral because it's fresh content people haven't seen. Stick around till the end of this video and I'll spill the beans on my secret methods to help you make money with these channels. So how are we going to do this? We'll use Leonardo AI for cool imagery. 11 allowed to generate a voiceover and one way to animate the images pure magic and finally we'll bring it all together with cut cut now listen some youtubers charge a bunch of money for a course like this but not me i believe in giving you value for free and serving my awesome audience so give the video a thumbs up hit subscribe for more content like this and drop a comment with anything you want let's get started in chat gpt i'm gonna ask it to make an engaging story about great depression that i could use in a 30 seconds youtube shorts video Alright, now that we have a list of text prompts, we will ask ChatGPT to give us ideas to generate images for that story using Leonardo. Now let's open up Leonardo and get those prompts in action. To use Leonardo AI, just create a free account. Link is in the description. They give 150 credits per day on a free account, which is fantastic. Now we will paste the prompts that ChatGPT generated to us. At the end of the prompts, make sure you type hyper realistic so your images can look clean and cinematic. Now here is a slick move. Hit image guidance, drag and drop the downloaded pic, lower the strength to about 0.20 and hit generate. This is the best hack for a storyline, giving all the images similar. Repeat this process for each image, keep the story flow intact. Fast forward this part to keep the video moving. All right. Now let's animate these pics to take our video to the next level. And for that, we're gonna use Runway ML. In Runway, hit image to video and click upload a file. Drag and drop the first image and just below the prompt box, set the motion to seven. That's the sweet spot. Hit generate and give it a few seconds. And there our animation is ready. Repeat this process for all your images. Once all your animations are downloaded, we are going to move forward with the voiceover. For the voiceover, we are going to use 11 Lab. It's extremely easy to use. I personally prefer to use the voice of Adam as my narrator. There are other options you guys can choose from, but make sure you play around with these settings so you can get the best audio quality and the best tone as possible. All right, now we have our voiceover and our animations ready. We are going to open CapCut and start editing. The first thing we are going to do, we are going to drag our voiceovers to the timeline. After dragging them to the timeline, we are going to cut out the pauses. To do so, we are going to hit Command B or Control B if you have a Windows computer to use the Blit tool. It's very important guys, remove all the pauses on your audio. If you leave them, people will click off and you will not go viral. The next step is editing. We are going to drag all our footages into the timeline. Remember guys, video editing is about creativity and common sense. So figure out how you want to tell your story. Make it your own way. Don't forget to change the aspect ratio to 9 by 16. Alright, now we got all the images in the timeline. We are going to add a filter to make the image look more interesting and eye-catching. To do so, we are going to click on the right side of the screen, click filters, and then scroll all the way down until you find a filter name clear too. This is my favorite, but you guys can choose your own. It all depends on your creativity and taste. Alright, now we have a filter added and now we have to do some color grading. And to do so, we are going to click on adjustment layer, drag it and drop it to the timeline and go to the left side of the screen where we will do the color grading. Again guys, use your creativity, find your color that matches your story. Now that we got the voiceover and color grading taken care of, we are going to move to the last and very important step which is captions. Caption is very important guys. If someone is in a very loud environment, they can read and understand what your video is about even if they can't hear it. And for the caption, we are going to click on text, auto caption, and then scroll down until you find your language. Mine is English. Now hit create. 
awesome. Caption is ready. The only thing we need to do now is choose the type of letters you prefer. In my case, I will choose the quick brown fox. I like the green and white color because I think it put more life into the video. And guys, remember, you can also change the size of the letters and also the colors. If you need help on how to do these things, leave a comment and I'll consider making a video about it. And we're done. Our video is ready. Let's take a look at the creation. In the heart of the Great Depression, when the world seemed colorless and dreams felt out of reach, meet Martha, a resilient soul with an unyielding spirit. Times were tough, but Martha refused to let despair dictate her destiny. In the midst of hardship, a ray of hope emerged. A community garden where neighbors joined hands to cultivate not just crops, but a sense of unity. Martha discovered that together they could grow more than just vegetables. They could grow resilience, friendship, and a shared hope. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check all the resources I use in the description, and I'll catch you next week. Peace out.